the future of yachting is coming up next, only on Yacht Life TV. There's a lot of apprehension like, do you think it'll really work? Do you think it's the wave of the future? Is this a fad? We are on the forefront of what will be considered the norm in the yachting industry 10 years from now. We're building a yacht with technology that no one else has ever seen or built. A series about the first all-electric and solar power catamaran build by Sunreef Yachts. Welcome to the 2020 Miami Boat Show. This is Mike Orton here with the Catamaran Company. We're here on Pier 8 and 9. We're going to take you around the Catamaran Company booth as well. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Hank Hampton from the Catamaran Company. This is Howard Clark, Catamaran Company, Grenada. So my name is Chris Block. Yacht broker with the Catamaran Company in Kima, Texas. I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company. We're at the Miami International Boat Show. This is Endless Horizon, a 2020 Sun Reef 80 sailing cat. We just had built for a client. Uh, we were involved with the build on this uh, from the very beginning. And I'll show you some of the unique design aspects that we incorporated in this for our client. The largest and most expensive yacht in that show was a Sunreef 80 named Endless Horizon. A very high spec sailing catamaran designed specifically for charter in the Caribbean. During that show, their media department did a very detailed video walkthrough. That video was viewed more than any other video they had ever produced. The media department uses their YouTube channel to target catamaran buyers. Even experienced buyers need an expert to advise them through the process. This marketing effort guides YouTube to place these videos in front of potential clients with similar interests. A family with a very specific vision for the boat they want to build had been searching on their own for over two months. They were looking for the most advanced type of eco-catamaran and were led to the Endless Horizon videos through YouTube's Artificial Intelligence. We started with an evaluation of shipyards, yacht designers, and the technology that would be involved in the build for his boat. And we're contracted by the client to represent him in the build. And initially it felt like he just really wanted to have someone on his side in the construction process. We went from consultant to buyer representative and from that point we started a month-long uh, contract negotiations for the build and warranty agreement for our client. We were able to uh, build relationships with other shipyards that we'd not worked with before and get a very clear understanding of what their capabilities were. Staley and his clients then traveled to several shipyards. The first shipyard they visited was Sunreef Yachts. Currently, Sunreef has two factories, their older yard at the Gdansk shipyard and a new state-of-the-art modern production facility with one of the largest five-axis cutting machines in Europe. This is used to make large format molds and components. So what this allows Sunreef to do is to be able to produce all their own plugs, which means they can produce their own molds and they can do it very quickly. The next shipyard Staley and his clients visited was in Italy, where they spent several days touring the factory and boats featuring new eco technology. Staley got to know the family very well and what they were looking for in their next boat. Developing a close relationship with a client is crucial to guarantee all their needs are met.
After those initial meetings in Europe, we had a number of follow-up calls and Zooms back and forth. At that point, we had not made a formal decision what direction we were going, but over the next month, we were able to get a very clear idea which yard we would be initiating our build process with, and that's how we came to the conclusion we'd be working with Sunreef. We're calling the buyer for the Eco 80 Sunreef, and we are going through a design contract with um, revisions for the designer that we'll be utilizing for the build. This is a third party designer, does not work for the manufacturer, but we have collaborated with previously on other large builds. The last one was a Sunreef 80, and this will be a Sunreef 80 Eco Power Cat. And we're going to talk about the design contract, and uh, we are likely to have a meeting uh, at their home next week and um, just have a little more quality time together and working on some of the uh, details now that we've gotten started. What I'll do is take the ferry over and then uh, just Uber from there and yeah. um, just get a hotel for uh, Thursday night, kind of take it easy cool. and then head back from, um, from the next day. Yeah, you can stay at our house if you want to. Oh, that's, uh, that's very kind. I'll, um, let, me, let me ask about that, but I think that, that would be great. That would be a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, I mean, we want you to see where we are anyway, but, you know, we've got like three empty bedrooms, so. All right, well, that's, that's a very kind uh, offer, thank you. At our client's house, we are going to schedule a meeting to uh, talk with our project manager and discuss some of the initial details of the yacht construction project. We've got a few questions and some things that we'd like to evaluate and we're trying to get a sense of what that timing will likely look at. So we're here, you can see Narragansett Bay here in the background and we're going to get started here in about a half hour after some coffee. With Lane for the first time two three days ago we had a lot of verbal conversation. We explained some of our ideas and he had a lot of ideas, of course. And so he's gonna come up with, let's call it like a, a concept layout. And then I think that concept layout can go to Sunreef, to you, and you, you can comment on it. So if you can keep us informed about when that date can be, because we have to schedule our two designers, my wife, myself, Staley, to do that trip. Daly had the chance to visit Plant City, which is the largest vegan restaurant and marketplace in the U.S., with smaller express versions that are being franchised. These clients are 100% focused on renewable energy. Each one of their homes and businesses has a solar array on the roof. The family has owned nine Teslas and their diet is completely plant-based. They've had a very successful experience with impact investing in businesses with renewable energy and sustainable plant-based foods and products. The team stayed frequently in contact through phone calls and Zoom meetings. Zoom meeting on August 5th with designers. What I wanted to talk about first is, so this was the cabin level deck plan. For the first time, the entire team traveled together to Sunrise factory in Gdansk in order to make important design choices putting together a team, so to speak, of uh, multiple designers, architects, uh, 
mechanical advisor. I mean, there's so many skill sets here with this team, including my amazing wife. <laughs> What it affords is, is for a lot of different ideas and double-checking ideas, so minimizing mistakes, maximizing creativity, and uh, cycle time, like speed of, speed of uh, decision-making, you know, design and decision-making. So we're staying ahead of the factory. I feel good about it. I like to stay ahead of things. I never want to be scrambling. I never want to be short of time. I never want to be taking shortcuts. You'll want to know more about Kevin. Maybe you know a lot about Lane and Staley already, but Kevin has done so many <laughs> projects with us. He's done houses, he's done restaurants. Six or seven projects with us. All starting with your house 10 years ago. With this kind of a team, this experience, even though I've had 40 years of yachting experience, I've never built a boat. And uh, uh, building a catamaran, particularly an electric catamaran, this is new. And uh, my approach to business is to you know, work with experts. So we've put together a team of experts here. And uh, it's, it's really exciting. Just arrived at the old Sun Reef factory and just meeting up with our clients. This part, oh right, yeah, yeah. so then you're facing that way. So that's a good, that's a good design um, or dimension. What, what is this dimension? It's 1867. Finished up our initial uh, design meeting on the plans. So now we're gonna break up into two groups. And our client's wife, their home designer, and the designer that we had them hire to help out specifically with the yacht. They're gonna start going through designs. You can see they've got a number of fabrics and counter materials. We've been interviewing some previous Sunreef 80 owners, captains, and crew, and we're gonna go through some of their notes from earlier boats. So we have six pages of notes from previous owners and crew, and then we're also gonna be defining some of the technical aspects of the boat, primarily with the solar system, with the placements of the cells, and the propulsion system and ventilation for the engine compartments. We've got a number of notes on those that we're going to be reviewing today. So we're going to start now. Indoors and outdoors. Mm -hmm. For the this. I like this better for after. I don't love the hand on this. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. But I, did, I like this texture better. Yes. She's gone to get us a piece of this and white. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Floor and ceiling. Next. <laughs> So we're going to use this as a big lumbar pillow on the front Here we go. fringe just on the edges. Yeah. I love when you smile. Yes. I know, I, we there nailed you know. it. <laughs> you know, where, when the boat would be end, I would just go down. You love it. Take a nap in it. In yes. <laughs> okay. It's a noise problem yeah. when, say, the crew takes a shower in the forepeak and then the pump turns on underneath the master mm -hmm. cabin, right? So weren't we talking about putting a gray water tank in, so instead of a sump pump running immediately when the shower yeah. is running. The water more, instead drains into the gray water tanks. About two years ago, I opened the world's first plant-based food hall and the world's largest vegan restaurant. Um, and in just two years, even without, with nine months of it being pre-COVID, we've already served a million guests in two years. A lot of people, just by showing them great food or just by showing them an alternative boat, will say, oh, I didn't know about that. I can do that and here's how easy it can be and I think that's part of what you're trying to do is show the steps so that people can make the decision.